Okay, so this is what comes in the package when you order the um, Quinter face, which is what I colloquially call the Fred uh, expansion interface, mini interface. Uh, what it does is it adds 32K memory to a 16K Model 1. It also adds automatic boot capability without changing the um, EEPROM or ROMs inside your Model 1. So it can connect to a completely standard Model 1. It comes with three cables. The large cable, the 50-way one, goes from the, um, from the Quinterface to the Fred. The smaller cable, the 40-way one, runs from the Quinterface to the TRS-80 Model 1. The power cable that comes with, with it also powers the Fred for a neater setup. So I'm going to show you how it all plugs together. We simply take this one, plug it in here, like so. Observe that the red line is towards the top of the quinter face. We take the, the Fred cable, make sure the line, the red line, is also pointed the same way. Plug it in like so. And then we just take the power cable, the short one, which is the same length as the Fred cable, and we plug that in right there, like that. We then plug this end and this power into the Fred, and this end goes into the TRS-80 Model 1. I'll show in the next part of the video uh, how it's all set up, how to power it up, and how to use the device. Okay, so here is our um, expansion interface for Fred connected up. We've got our Fred here, 50-way cable connected to the Fred expansion interface. The 40-way cable going from the device to the TRS-80 Model 1. I have a power cable, a power source of 5 volts coming from my power supply into the uh, Fred interface. And then the small power cable um, comes out of the Fred interface and plugs into the Fred. So I'll show how it's powered up. We hit the power, wait for the green light, which we saw there, and we simply turn on our TRS-80, and there you have it. A bit glary out here today, but I think you can see it. If we choose an operating system like LDOS, So there it goes, working nicely. If we want to change operating system, we just reset the TRS-80 and it goes back to Fred. And choose LDOS, uh, new DOS I mean. So there you have new DOS 80. Can even load basic if we want. Print mem. So there you have it. Now, a couple of uh, handy things to know about this device. Um, as stated, it has 32K of memory on it. Uh, so if you start up your Model 1 the exact same way that you do on a diskless system, so holding down the brake key. gives a print mem of 48340 as you can see there and also if you're having trouble with the system and you want to confirm that your Fred expansion interface is working properly it has a built-in self-test feature system slash 12288 Just zoom 
out a bit so we can see everything. So I've got the memory banks, the ROM chip test, the PIC test and the test looking for a thread. If they all say OK then the system is up and running and working properly. Uh, if you're having trouble with the system and you've, all things have passed, uh, suspect that there's a problem with your SD card and um, basically make yourself a new SD card for your thread and it should fix the problems. Okay, so if you're interested in one of these, have a look on my website or contact me. Thanks for watching.